let's go over some of the basics of the Google Calendar. After you log in, you make sure you click on Calendar up at the top and it will take you to your calendar. I have multiple calendars because I've already created multiple calendars. So these under my calendars are any calendar that you create or if someone shares a calendar with you and makes you kind of like an owner, like you have manage and sharing options. Other calendars down here are other people's calendars within the district domain that you can see and share. So for example, Anna is someone I work with. If I want to see her calendar, I've added her by putting her email address in up here. And what it does is when you put someone's email address up in there, I've already added her, but it will um, allow me to share. If you get a message saying that this person doesn't sh let their share their calendar, you can request to share it, but they have to give you permission. So I can click on these and I can see what other people are doing and it's great for when you want to schedule appointments. If I don't want to see other people's calendars, I just click on them and notice the color goes away. The same thing works up in my calendars. I can hide these calendars if I have too much stuff going on and just click on a calendar when I actually want to see an event that's related to the calendar. Now, if you create a core calendar for your group, core, and you manage and share it, it'll appear in my calendars. If you're creating a calendar for a group for your students, it will appear to them in other calendars. So let's see how we create a new calendar. Under my calendars, you just basically put create a new calendar. You name it. So if it's a homework calendar, you name it homework. I would be specific if you have different grade levels, homework sixth grade, and maybe the year. The next thing, you don't have to put a description, is the sharing. Share calendar with others. Do you want this calendar to be public that anybody could find it? Do you want to share this calendar with everyone in the Adams 12 organization? That's how people share their calendars with other people. Like I can see Anna's and Ashes because they have this checked off. And that means they check this off and that means someone else can see my calendar. If this is not a calendar you want everyone to see, then you don't have to do that. You don't have to have these checked off. If you're going to share a calendar with specific people, like for example your teammates, all you have to do is put their email address, find them, and see how it says their universal ID. And the important thing is the permission settings. By default, it'll be see all event details, which means they can see the event and they can see anything that you typed in about the event, the time, the place, description, anything that you um, typed in. If you want people just to be able to see that you've got something going on during that time, but not the details of the event, it says see only free and busy and hide the details. If you want someone to be able to make changes to the events, like you, uh, you're sharing the calendar with a couple different people and you want them to be able to make changes and add the events, that's what you pick, make changes to events. If you want someone it to be like it's their calendar too and they can share it with whoever they want, you would pick make changes and manage sharing. So once you decide what you want people to see, you simply create click create calendar and the calendar will show up in your my calendars list if you want to add an event to a calendar there's two different ways you can either highlight the go to the calendar click next to it and find the little menu button and pick create an event on this calendar and here you can do what's the name of the event it's um read Moby Dick okay when is it you put in the date you can put in the time you can have an event hide all day you don't have to fill in any of these things and this is how you can also check what calendar you're on I am on the homework calendar some reason I wasn't on the right calendar I could click and change it to any of the calendars that are my calendars 
if for some reason your event color is going to be a color that was chosen by default, if you want to pick it to be a different color, you can pick it to be a different color. If you want to add a reminder, you can add a reminder. And so what would be the reminder? Well, it'll pop up 10 minutes before the event, or it'll send you an email 10 minutes before the event, or you can change it hours, days, weeks, that is if you want a reminder. If you were making some kind of event and you want to invite guests to it, and it would appear as an email saying, hey, come participate in this event, you simply type their email address and add guests. And watch what happens when I click Save. It'll say, do you want to send invitations to the guest? So if you want to send them an email invitation, click Send. Now, and if you look, it shows up on my calendar right here, Read Moby Dick. The other way to create an event is by simply clicking on the time slot where you want in the calendar. And this is like kind of a shortcut way. You don't have to fill in all this thing. So if it's just a quick and dirty thing, you can type in what you want. Um, pick up my dog. And then you can pick what calendar you want it to appear on. So if I want it to be the Rocky Top um, Middle School one-to-one -one calendar, and then you simply hit Create Event. So you don't have to go through all those different choices if you don't want to. Now you can click on that calendar event and edit the event and it will take you to the interface where you can put everything in eventually. So when you edit the event you can invite guests to it as well. If you're using the calendar for homework calendar and you've shared it with people, the events will show up. But if you want to make sure that they're reminded, you can send them an invitation as well. Don't forget to click Save. So those are the basics of the calendar. Um, one other thing I want to show you is you can hide and show calendars by just clicking on them, making them appear and disappear. Couple other settings that you do have is here's another way you can choose the custom color of your calendar. So if you don't like it's blue and I want it to be purple, all the things will then show up in purple. If you need to share the calendar with more people, here share the calendar. If you need to change something in the settings, there's calendar settings. And remember, if you're on the individual calendar, they're applying to that calendar that you're on.